We're competing to build the most useful skills to teach an AI so that they can do the stuff that we don't want to. I'm just going to have to push to make without testing. <laughs> Six people. Yeah, I really hope I can get this done before the end of the day. She's just broken. Three teams. Oh no, Pen. No, we're not naming names. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These people know who they are. One and nice arm. Hey, oh. it worked. Great. Right. Zero. <laughs> yes! So, we're teamed up together, and we are going to be building an AR plugin. Wait, 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 what's a plugin? It's the techie part of how we're actually going to build these skills. Basically, Carter's AI agents have these complicated things called plugins, but they're actually very simple. A plugin is just a piece of code that makes an AI perform some task when you tell it to. You see how that robot just turned on the lights? That's a plugin. Now back to the video that basically it's like an AR character. You can like ask her to turn the lights on and she'll like actually walk over to the light switch, press the light switch. I brought in some Wi-Fi plugs. Mm -hmm. And so we had to make like the whole AR app, the character. And you know, connect it with the plugin. Connect the whole thing with the plugin. Yeah. Should we run through what we're building again? I yeah. actually don't fully remember. I know we spoke about it off camera, but I can't remember exactly what it is. We started off, uh, going through a list of APIs, because that are like, so we had a ma massive list of all the different APIs, and we were going through and trying to decide and trying to pick one, because we didn't have any ideas coming into it. Yeah. You wanted it to be accessible for like businesses or something? Yeah, something that we could actually release to people that wasn't going to cost loads of money to, to run, you know? Mm. Yeah, cost effective as always. Yeah, cost effective. Yeah. Are okay. we calling the plugin anything? I think we can call it Carter Code. Carter Code? Carter Code or something. Code like Buddy? That. Nice. I like that it's not like programming assistant. Yeah. <laughs> Carter Code Buddy. Right, okay. So I was thinking like maybe we'll have to map the room to say like where the light switch is. What do we need to make? Well, we need something that's going to give code output depending on the description from a user. Mm -hmm. so it takes a description of the code you want to write and writes that code for you. I don't know how plugins work really yet. I need to go through the Yeah, docs. I had a read of the docs this morning. Oh, did you? <laughs> you got ahead. We have a prompt, heavily inspired by... <laughs> by heavily <laughs> inspired? By a co-pilot. Okay. Uh, which does work to generate code. Okay. Um, so I heavily inspired. So the, 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 the final result would be you have a character in a room Mm -hmm. You've told, you've like marked where the light switch is mm -hmm. with some, oh, I don't know, cube or something. And when you hold down the microphone and you speak, mm -hmm. just like uh, in Cataverse yeah. M, you can speak to the character and you say, can you turn the lights on please? Mm -hmm. And she will walk over to the cube, mm -hmm. pretend to click the thing, but at the same time, the plugin would actually turn the lights on. Yeah. Really, all we need to do is extract the whole conversation okay. and send it to this prompt, or like, which I don't think the plugin system was really designed to do that, but we might be able to kind of right here do that. For now, we might be limited by the plugin like input output length and stuff like that, so I'm not sure. Um, maybe we might have to be more, more explicit, so every message we're like, write a Python function to do this. Mm -hmm. But in the future, we can get around that as like plugins get updated and stuff. And nice. We make Calendar increase the uh, output. <laughs> yeah. What we have is this AR plane. It seems to be like the the thing that like grounds the Unity space with the real world. Mm -hmm. um, but this is all they're all prefabs. Yeah. So. Knock yourself out. Yeah. And then I'll I'll get working on the on turning the lights on. The force behaviors is like the old plug-in system. Kind of it's like you can detect something that someone was saying and then trigger something. But the, the problem we had is you needed to be able to say like turn the lights off and then when Nova got to the light switch to actually turn the lights off so that it looked like she was turning the lights off. And so we combined the force behavior system with the plugin system so that you would trigger the force behavior first. Mm -hmm. To trigger the animation. So there was a second silent one that was the actual plugin trigger at the end when she touched the switch. Yeah. 
So their forced behavior was just all an illusion to make it look like she was being told to turn the lights on and off. It'd be quite cool if we have a, a like specific bespoke agent to kind of demo this plugin as well. Yeah, we can make we can make an agent. We can make an agent in the controller. So Penelope is an agent that I've wanted to make for a while. In the movies, there's always like your one kind of buddy, your one friend. Tony Stark has Jarvis. I wanted to create Penelope to be like my one buddy that like my partner in, in crime. And I wanted to specifically like create her personality so that she's like, like travels the world and is really interested in people and culture and all of these different things. That was kind of the rough idea. I didn't know that it was going to be Penelope. Um, but then the name Penelope came. Okay. I mean, you're the uh, agent. I'm the creation yeah, expert. I'm happy to the agent. So how are you building the agent? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. No, I kind of know. So, well, first I'm just going to make this manifest file. We found uh, a recipe one, which had like menus and that provided uh, the food and like loads of information about the recipe and the food you wanted to do. And so we thought that was a pretty good idea. I think you, you started having a look through the API and just seeing what you could pull out and what information you yeah, could gather. Yeah, I had a look to see what the API could do and came up with a basic plugin that just made requests to the API. And then you started work on Guy Fieri. Guy Fieri, yeah, we needed to brand him as some kind of chef that could teach you and talk you through. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, I found the endpoints. Okay, yeah, I, I know how to do it. Yeah? Using this example, yeah. We'll just, I mean, yeah, we'll just use this. We'll just copy this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no copy. It's, we'll be heavily inspired. <laughs> <laughs> heavily inspired. <laughs> yeah, sweet. Thank okay. you. Very cool. I might have been slightly distracted for most of the day uh, by some other people <laughs> on other teams, mostly. Yeah, I did spend a lot of time fixing code in production and also teaching people how to use plugins which was understandable. It is brand new. Do you want to name any names or what? No, we're not naming names. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> these people, these people know who they are. Callum, what does the example do in the output? Is that important? Callum, you know the pirate um, agent in the docks? Did you write out these responses? Ahoy matey. <laughs> <laughs> Callum, are there any plugins that are live already? Like this weather one? No? Okay. You put out the poll to the Discord community and they all said that we would flop. Yeah. And so we had to run some sabotage. Yeah, we had to run some sabotage, get yeah. an advan some kind of advantage, because we were the underdogs. Yeah, apparently. exactly. Yeah, I mean, Nathan bothered Callum and I bothered Hugh, so yeah. Yeah, take both of them out. Yeah, man. We had just released plugins, and there were still a few kinks in the system that needed working out. So for everyone's plugins to work smoothly, I had to sort of go in and make a few changes at the last minute. I know that the Code Buddy plugin has yeah. some large responses sometimes, <laughs> yeah. and there may have been a few bugs, but I won't admit it. 5,000? Yeah. Can we... 5K if would be awesome. If you're messing around, could you increase the timeout limit? What do you want it to do? <laughs> like 30 seconds. What is it currently? 10. Ah, uh, yeah. That'll be nice. Thanks, Caleb. Okay, so we got the light turning on and off. Now the next step is going to be to uh, that that code can only run in this room. So the plugin has to run in the cloud. That's one of the rules for today. It doesn't actually have to, um, but we are all deploying our plugins to Replit. And so if the plugin is living in Replit, it needs to communicate with the Python script that's controlling the lights in this room. And we're going to do that through WebSockets so that the plugin can send messages back and forth to the light controller which could be like a Raspberry Pi or something um, via WebSockets and that way the plugin never goes offline but IoT devices can connect to it um, on and off. A wild Guy Fieri! <laughs> what are you guys doing? I thought you were doing the uh, to-do thing. That's uh, are you doing a cooking thing? <laughs> <laughs> That's jokes. That is joke. <laughs> Ooh, that's fancy, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool, though. Yeah. Neo's on it. Fuck. <laughs> okay, I'll build the Discord bot. Okay, we have a, a problem with Neo. I'm not sure what we're doing. Well, Is there a typo? Well, I copied and pasted it. Is it like... Wait, Kartiko... That's got a plug-in in it. Oh, no, that's got a plug-in. Is it the this double dash? double dash. But that's a dot on there. What did you change? 
I changed something and then I changed it back and then it worked. Oh. So. Oh, we got our code. Yes, plugin number two. Yeah. Once we had like figured out the plugin system, Rappler, all of that, we had like a nice little plugin, but it would give you your code on one line. Um, and the dialogue generation system isn't really designed around outputting large outputs on lots of lines. Uh, so, yeah, we spent a long time formatting it. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Still an issue? Well, yeah, there's some issue with the response type, but I have no idea. Let me open it. Let me just try it. Let's check everything. I just pronounce his name as Guy Fieri. Miss Guy Fieri? Guy Fieri, and this is my people card. Uh, I might be like Guy Fieri. It was like a kind of a sound. Guy Fieri? Guy Fieri. Yeah, I think that's what he's trying to say. Sound really fast. Yeah. Everyone knows him as Guy Fieri, so. It works. Amazing. Well, it's not in Carter, but we can send it requests and it'll give us code. That's amazing. Right, now to delete all of your code. Control A. It's a very easy answer to that, mate. You don't. <laughs> Danny, but we're in uh, one. It worked. Did it? Yes. Yes, Check. man. We can just us two have been working on this and it's worked. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Cool. Gary and I have. Can you uninstall this? It works. Okay. It works, yeah. It Amazing. Works. So now you should be able to talk to. Oh. Is it running? Running. Oh! Oh my god. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Oh my god, Penelope's alive! Welcome to Flavor Town. My name is Guy Fieri. Good? Yeah. Okay, Re let's have a listen. Really good. Welcome to Flavor Town. My name is Guy Fieri. Hey there, my friends. How's it going? Are you ready to dive into some killer cuisine and have a rocking good. good time? Yeah. That's good. Welcome to Flavor Town. My name is Guy Fieri. Hey there, my friends. How's it going? Are you ready to dive into some killer cuisine and have a rocking good time? I think that's it. You got it? I think so. Um, we can, as soon as the plugin's running, we can try in Discord. Yeah, that's what we should do now, I think, before we do the voice. Oh, it's, it's published? Yeah, it's published. It's all oh, done. Oh, damn. Are you sure you want to install this, this plugin? Code Buddy by Castle Labs Limited. No way, that's our plugin. Yeah, it's our plugin. Okay, yes. Come on, Penelope. This is odd because she hasn't said anything. In this case, it's because the code was wrong. So oh, I okay. tried to get the plugin and it hasn't been able to, and right. they just don't respond. So okay. probably actually what we're going to have to do is delete that conversation. Is it send her, send her a message now? She probably won't. She'll just, she's just broken. Oh no, pen. It's all right, we'll get back. Can we get her back? Yeah, I think so. So. Oh, oh she's back, okay. Okay, shall I ask her? Yeah, try again. Oh, now we've got 200, okay. You could actually just copy paste how big of it, but basically it's like in your main. Ah! It worked, but it didn't format well. It didn't it format, but it worked. Wait. That's right, yeah. For iron range 10. Yeah. Yeah! Dude! Plugin successful. Plugin successful. How do we get it to look nice? So what's happened, somehow, see how it's escaped the slash ends? Mm. I don't know why that's happened. Maybe you can have it somewhere. Yes. Hello, guy. So what are we cooking today, chef? Let's explore some recipe choices and make something delicious together. I spent more time helping them than I have taken my <laughs> code. Uh, how's it going? Yeah, guy, you can talk to guy. I can talk to guy? You can talk to guy. People on the Discord didn't believe in us. Yeah, they'll we see now. It. We smashed it. Exactly. The thing is, I actually think our plugin will be, based on what the community is like, I think our plugin will be the most used. Yeah, I think, I think so too. Yeah. Hey, guy, how's it going? Hey there, this is going off the hook. How about you? That is super cool. Yeah. It's actually the first time I've used this web interface. Yeah. And I'm pretty impressed. So I've got it, I've got the sort of plugin stuff pretty much working now. So, for example, when making a request uh, with a search term of omelette, it's now returning the, the name of the dish and the cuisine and the instructions of how to make it nice. and like all the ingredients and also like an image link and a YouTube link. Okay. So in theory, with the changes that I pushed earlier, 
uh, you will be able to access these values and then use them as like a, an embed in Discord. Nice, okay. And if you search for something that doesn't exist, then it'll tell you no recipes were found for that search term. We want to try and get like a response that hasn't got the new lines escape, right? But the problem is, because we obviously send the response as JSON, mm. it gets escaped as we send it. Wow. Let's see what the output looks can you, like. Can you just my manifest? I mean, this should be the easiest thing, just formatting an output. Yeah. It might, it might be like a mouth. Oh, it's gone right. through there, that's good. Come on, mate. Fuck's sake. No, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> the code's good. I think it's fucking escaped there. The fuck is going on? I can't believe this freaking replace isn't working. Mate, I don't. <laughs> what the fuck? So uh, I can I can change this to random like arbitrary text, including ones that have a single slash M. Yeah. And it's fine. <laughs> Why the fuck? And I can replace this text this text. Fine. Yeah. There's a couple of bugs and we are trying to deploy a fix that might fix the bug that's causing the most issues. Um do we pay? Oh yeah. I haven't had spent much time on the plugin that I was supposed to be making. Yeah. So I can't believe how well it works, to be honest. Yes! <laughs> wow. yes. Really happy. We, we did it. it. We, we did, did it. it. It's out in like format. Multi-line. Multi yeah. Congratulations. With indents and everything. That was like the worst ratio to time spent to like <laughs> yeah. stuff achieved. That has happened to you got a coding buddy now. Nice. Carsten so can help you write code. That's amazing. Um, Nofa, can you turn the lights on, please? Isn't that like a sports drink? Yeah. That's a chronic response. It's not She's thinking. Uh, <laughs> so, I love how you create Oh, there she goes. So, she turned that. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's not particular. Right. Did you. How did you run it? I didn't run it, but I just took the closer. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's like, yeah. So you can still cross product. There we should be able to. I wonder if we can just do. Turn the lights on. Oh, I'm just testing. Just testing? Yeah, we probably. <laughs> oh, wow, she nice. turned it on. Well done. Nice. Nova, can you turn the lights on, please? Oh. Take some time. I mean, yeah. I mean, you can kind of see it. Initial. Yeah. Ah, mm, it works.